Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Are you still running Windows 10 and worried about losing your files when upgrading to Windows 11? In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a foolproof method to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing a single file, setting, or app. Let's dive in. First, a critical heads up. Windows 10 support officially ends on October 14, 2025. Upgrading to Windows 11 now ensures you stay secure and get the latest features. So, let's make sure you're ready to make the switch without any data loss. Step 1. Check your Windows 10 settings. Press the Windows key, type Settings, and press Enter. In the Settings window, click on Time and Language, then Region. Note your region and language settings, like English International, or United States. This is crucial because the Windows 11 ISO you download must match these settings exactly, or you might not be able to keep your data. Step 2. Download the Media Creation Tool. Open your web browser. Type in the address bar, Windows 11 ISO. Then, press Enter. Select the top result. You'll land on Microsoft's official Windows 11 download page. Scroll down to the section labeled Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click the Download Now button under Media Creation Tool. Once the download is complete, open File Explorer. Navigate to your Downloads folder. Find the Media Creation Tool file and double click to run it. The tool will launch and display a message saying it's getting things ready. When prompted, Accept the terms and conditions. Next, you'll see an option to use recommended options for this PC. Keep this checked to ensure the tool selects the correct language and edition matching your current Windows 10 setup. This is crucial to avoid issues with data preservation. Click Next. Now, choose ISO file as your media type and click Next. Select your desktop as the save location for the ISO file and click Save. The tool will download the Windows 11 ISO and save it to your desktop. This process may take some time depending on your internet speed, so be patient. Once it's done, back on your desktop, locate the Windows 11 ISO file. Right-click the ISO file and select Mount. This creates a virtual drive in File Explorer typically labelled with a drive letter like E or F. Note your drive letter, as it may differ from mine. Now, let's run the upgrade. Click the search bar on your taskbar and type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type your drive letter followed by a colon. For example, if your drive is E, type E colon. Press Enter. Next, type setup exe space forward slash product space server. Press Enter. This command bypasses hardware checks for unsupported PCs, ensuring the upgrade works regardless of your system's compatibility. Don't worry, this won't install Windows Server, it's just a workaround to upgrade to Windows 11. Click Next. Accept the license. You'll see an option to choose what to keep. Select Keep Personal Files and Apps to preserve everything. Click Next. The setup will verify your system has enough space and confirm it's ready to install. Click Install. A blue window will pop up indicating the installation process. Sit back and let it run. This could take a while, so grab a coffee. Once complete, your PC will restart and you'll be greeted by the Windows 11 desktop with all your files, settings and apps intact. Hey, if you're loving this seamless upgrade process, don't forget to subscribe to Passionate About Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. If you want a cleaner setup, here are two bonus tips to optimize your new OS. Tip 1. Remove unwanted apps. Open your browser again. In the search bar, type OO Software 
at Buster and press Enter. Open the first link. Download the O and O App Buster tool. Once download, open it. You'll see a list of apps with options labeled recommended or optional for removal. Select the apps you don't need, choose current user, and click yes. Confirm the action, and the tool will uninstall those apps for you, giving you a leaner system. Tip 2. Enhance privacy and performance. From the same website, chose private users option on select box. Look for O and O Shut Up 10 Plus and download it. Open the app. Go to the Actions menu and select Apply Recommended and Somewhat Recommended Settings for a balanced setup. If you use a microphone or webcam, toggle those settings on to ensure they work. Click OK. Restart your PC to apply the changes. After the restart, your desktop should look cleaner and run smoother with no unnecessary apps or telemetry concerns. This method is reversible, so you can always adjust settings later if needed. Bonus tip 3. Create a system restore point before making major changes like app removals. Open the search bar, type create a restore point and select it. Click create and follow the prompts. This gives you a safety net in case you need to roll back. Bonus tip 4. Keep your drivers updated post-upgrade. Open Settings. Go to Windows Update. And check for optional updates. Install any driver updates to ensure your hardware runs optimally on Windows 11. That's it. You've successfully upgraded to Windows 11 without losing any data and your system is now optimized for performance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video on Passionate About Tech.